guys, thanks for joining me in the studio today. I am with a very special guest who probably thought, much like Godfather 3, that once he got out, we pulled him back in. You never get away. I know, <laughs> Bruce. I know the county. <laughs> so I'm welcome back. Fred McNeil, thank thanks you for, for having me. Yeah, you know, of course. Thank you. This is the, uh, it's like returning to the crime scene. <laughs> this all started thanks to a wonderful man named Paul Comfort, a name you might know, started in Channel 7. And uh, as sophisticated and as great as your shows are now, when we did it, I want you to know, it looked like bubblegum duct tape putting these things together. And so you guys are light years ahead, and I, I congratulate Channel 7. It's great. I don't know what you've been watching, <laughs> but I, I don't oh, know. Oh, it must have been five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was watching something. Okay. Uh, so anyway, you've come in. Yes. And you have a new show that you're debuting next week. Well, I'm very excited, and thank you, uh, and thank Channel 7. We're going to do a show called Senior Moments. Right. Now, let me explain what it's a little bit it's going to be about. We know in Queen Anne's County, there are now more seniors living in this county than there are students, students going to school. The numbers are increasing. Nationwide, there's a boom of boomers, okay? I'm, unfortunately, you're stuck with us for many years. <laughs> What's well, good. We want you around. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. and, and worldwide, it's getting unbelievable. We're talking about years like 2050, which seems like forever, but I'll be 103 and I plan to be around. That's You're looking still at, hosting. Uh, I'll, you'll be dragging me in here, right? <laughs> With IVs. <laughs> uh, we're talking about 20% of the world's population mm -hmm. being seniors. So we would like to do a show, and with your help, uh, addressing some of the needs, some of the interests, some of the things that's gonna make it easier for seniors to live in our county, our state, and our world. And uh, we'll bring in a guest every week and all types of topics. We're going to do everything from exercise. Mm -hmm. What are some, you know, we find out that when people turn 70, it's kind of shocking news, Bruce. Uh, at 70 years old, the majority of people do no exercise per day. And it's exactly opposite what you should be doing. As the body ages, okay, you need to be doing some light type of exercises. Now, it doesn't have to be lifting weights and grunting and groaning. It can be... No, that's good. Okay, okay. You, you, you're into yeah, the grunting I'm, and groaning. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't even know. I need this. <laughs> okay. Well, we found, we know that the body is going to change. Mm -hmm. And we know what we have to do is keep these skeleton muscles good, cardiac strength and things like that. Exercise is we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about yoga. We're going to talk about the importance of walking and stuff like that. Another thing that happens to us, we're also very concerned the number of seniors that fall into financial difficulties. You know, we're not all lucky like we just got lucky. I have a teacher's retirement and I throw that in with Social Security, yada, yada, yada. Many Americans have very little safety net for when they grow older. Mm -hmm. And some of the things we'll talk about here, hey, what are some simple things you can do? Where can you get financial help? Right. Where can you get financial advice? Because so there are lots of programs. There's stuff everywhere. You know you what? You can look in the right spots. That, you know, I'm amazed. Now, our uh, Queen Anne's County Aging does a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Kathy Willis and that group, and she'll be a guest. They <laughs> Spoiler. Have, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Kathy, I'm sorry. You're hooked, all right? <laughs> Helen Spinelli, we got you for yoga, okay? Uh, most of us don't take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. And there's some one, wonderful counseling programs, some programs. I mean, come on, our senior citizen centers are terrific. Mm -hmm. I, my mom went to one. You can play cards and you do whatever. Anyway, the big emphasis is gonna, on the show is going to be providing you with information. You know, like, hey, look at Bruce. You can go to the movies. Make sure you ask for that senior citizen discount. When you go to Ocean City and restaurants, ask for the senior citizen discount. Right. When you play golf, you know, if... Uh, We've been around 70 plus years. It's about time that we reap some of the benefits. That's right. You've now, earned this. Well, I don't know whether I have, but most <laughs> seniors have. You're right. The other thing we're going to talk about, uh, not only do we get a lot of help, but you know, if you look at seniors, the retired people who have expertise in areas that are unbelievable, mm -hmm. whether it's engineering, law, education, or whatever. We're going to talk about programs where, look at the schools would love you to volunteer. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are other agencies, and we'll get people to come on and speak. Look at, I, would, I have a wonderful woman I go to church with. She helps the state as a volunteer with accounting problems with the tax bureau. Mm -hmm. And this woman volunteers, and she's mentoring people to help with tax returns and things like that at the state level. So we have that expert. We have lawyers. We have doctors. I mean, I can go on and on. So it's a two-way street. Uh, we're going to talk about ways that we can get help. We're going to talk about ways us seniors. 
You know, the most startling thing about seniors and the scariest thing is isolation. Mm -hmm. People retire, Bruce, and they stay home. Right. And they don't go out. And one, it's terrible for them. The socialization, you and I talking here mm -hmm. and laughing about your IHOP pancakes or whatever it might be. That's right. It's an important part of life. Right. Well, we isolate ourselves. And one of the things we want to talk about on this program is, hey, look it, here's something you can do. Now, f for example, we had a church in town that just made, I don't know, some fantastic number, 15,000 Easter eggs, chocolate Easter eggs or something. Yeah, they would love to have seniors come in and you're dipping. Now, I did it. I dipped one egg and ate one egg. But don't, <laughs> please don't tell, any, don't tell father, all right? Uh, I hope he's not watching. He probably is, and I'll get chewed out <laughs> yeah. on Sunday. But there are simple things like that we can do. Right. And uh, again, and we'll actually get a medical doctor or two to come on, and they will talk about, hey, here's some signs. Bruce, I can tell you, you're a young man. Uh, when you become a senior citizen, the body starts doing things. You, wait, you said, wait a minute, Dad never told me about this <laughs> stuff. They are signals from your body. Nothing to be afraid of, but you need to know. Mm -hmm. I either need medical care or, I need, you know, whatever, whatever. So anyway, that's what we're going to It's going to be a lot of, and we're going to, by the way, we're going to have fun. I'm oh, gonna, I'm, naturally. Well, uh, you, you cannot be in no. a show with you and not have fun. I mean, I want you to get a couple phone calls every week. What did that crazy man, we have a, I have a person lined up who makes jewelry. And this particular person is going to come in and show you, even a nerd like me, who can't, has a hard time tying his shoe, is going to make these lovely necklaces. Who is it? Uh, I won't say. give her name away. I can't say yet. Well, I no. Tried. If I, I if I say, she say, Fred, you promise not. Okay, <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you off air. Okay, okay I'll tell you. you okay, go. okay. Uh, things like that. You know, I people always say say to me, Fred, and I, I'm not retired. I work five hours a day, as you know, at the board of ed, mm -hmm. uh, running a little mini school. But people say to me, Fred, what's retirement like? And I say, you know, it's kind of like being a teenager again, except you have a driver's license and you have a credit card, and that's what it's like. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Enjoy it. I mean, you can go to the golf course and play at half price. You can go to the movies, half price, or reduced rate. You can go out to eat. I mean, my wife is a great... Now, you, Bruce, you know Mrs. McNeil. I do. She, I love traveling with her. Because mm -hmm. no matter where we go, movie. She's at the Kennedy Center in D.C. Seeing a Broadway hit it was coming, and she's asking the people at the booth, well, you know, we're citizen, or senior citizen would like our discount. <laughs> and, you know, so a you know, $150 ticket all of a sudden becomes 100 You laugh right. about that. But you won't know until you ask. Well, or you, unless yes. you know beforehand. And right. that's what we want to do. We're going to teach you exactly what you say. Don't be afraid to ask. Uh, and knock on the doors for opportunities. Help for yourself. And reach out. Seniors, if you're watching this now, don't stay home. Watch Channel 7, what, 10, okay. hours, 10 <laughs> hours a day. At least. Yeah. But... Get out and get involved. And think of the nice thing about retirement is, Bruce, well, I taught, I was in education for 40 years, but now I can try things that, you know, maybe a little different. And, you know, I've always wanted to volunteer maybe with the police department or an EMT mm -hmm. or something like that. Well, you know, the fire department, any local fire department, you see signs, volunteers need it. Yeah. You don't, it, the ugliest thing would be if me, I was climbing a ladder trying to put out a fire. No, but you can serve coffee to people. Of course. You can yeah, help there's always people. events. Yes. Always events. And we're the perfect ones. And, uh, and last thing before I shut up here, uh, seniors have this wonderful expertise, which I mentioned before. I mean, I love going to Symphony Village. Mm. And you're sitting at a table with people and you say, well, hi, and what'd you do? Well, I was a uh, assistant at the Supreme Court. What did you do? Oh, I was a brain surgeon. You know, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but this wonderful expertise that is sitting in houses not being used. Mm -hmm. Come on, get out of that house, and yeah. we'll have some fun. Yeah, share the experiences of life. Yes, yeah. yes. That's why we live them. That's right. And our role is now, as seniors, I've benefited from a wonderful country. Uh, we, you know, let's face it, post-war baby boomers, we had it made. But it's our turn also to pay back. I said receive benefits, fine, but we mm -hmm. need to pay back. We can help. I mean, I, I tease my family about, I get that, if my phone rings at 6 a.m., Bruce, I know one thing. Hey, Dad, are you doing anything today? <laughs> this is Bridget, so-and-so is sick. Well, I pretend like, oh, oh, oh. but it, it's what we can do now. Right. And it's so easy being a grandparent, because you can just go, eh, spoil the heck out of them and let the parents worry. Yeah, they'll, they'll, yeah, they have That's to deal right, with the repercussions okay. now. Does that give you some idea what we're up to? Oh, man, I'm ready. Okay, should I'm I put my watch. hands up and surrender to the police now or what? Uh, well, yeah, we'll see how many calls we get oh, when we stop. Okay. Can, <laughs> I, can I put a, a couple more things in? 
we encourage, as Channel 7 does with any show you do, mm. we'd love your input. If you'd like to come on and talk about, hey, mm. I do this. Yeah. This is a cool thing for seniors. You can reach me, okay, at fredmcneil at gmail.com. Don't bug these people here at Channel 7, okay? Contact me, and I'd be delighted to get you on the show and talk about especially if you have something that can help that senior citizens community. Mm -hmm. I mean, it amazes me. Uh, there, I've, there's a church group I know of, and it's a group of women and a couple men. They knit uh, different items, uh, gloves and scarves, for people who can't afford them. Mm -hmm. And they make them, and they bundle them up, and they take them different places. I mean, all of a sudden, I said, well, what did you do? Well, we sent up 50 pairs of wool gloves and 50 knit scarves to an organization, da-da-da-da-da. Right. What a great thing. Yeah. Servicemen. They, another group I heard about, uh, they heard about uh, as you go overseas, uh, heading to uh, the Mideast, uh, Americans go through the Dover Air Force Base. Well, there's a person there that uh, makes contact with the USO up there, and they find out what these veterans can use in these combat zones. And they make little boxes. You know, it might have soap, it might have yada yada. But these are all being done by senior citizens, and you know what? They'd love to have a couple other people. So we want to get that word out there, okay? That's right. Which is good, but we encourage, please, uh, give us some input. Remember, there's more of us old white beard guys in this community now than we have school students. now, And we love the school students. It's not a competition. But we've got to step forward and contribute a little bit. Sure. Okay? Yeah, it sounds great. And I know we've been making lots of videos for the, the younger audience. We've been making lots of videos for the business. It's and great. Lots of, that's who and watches so now TV. it's time to make some more videos. And that's why we wanted to make sure that you had yeah. a voice for every audience, well, too. Thank you. And it's a community. And we will have uh, this, some, young, some groups of young people doing one, visiting senior centers, mm -hmm. and we'll get them on. Yep. And there's also, like there's a group from Symphony Village which helps out at the Kennard Elementary School. Right. Well, let's share that. There's all these wonderful things going on. The community only works if we all work together. That sounds good. Okay. So every Wednesday, Fred McNeil. We'll be here at 3 o'clock, and I, off the air, I whisper all these hot secrets to you about who's that's coming. That's right. That's okay. right. Okay. So check them out. It'll be every Wednesday. Thank We're going to be talking much. about the, the, the heart, the mind, the body, the soul, the wallet, and just socializing. And, with we'll, Fred be, and we'll be light on the wallet, okay? Light on, light on the wallet. Light on the wallet. But high on the fun. Yes, we will have fun. So check it out. Yeah.